my name is Daniel Shigurensky, and I am a professor in the School of Social Transformation and the School of Public Affairs at Arizona State University. This semester, I am the instructor of PIE 509, the capstone course, and I am very excited to introduce the team of students who undertook the project on the revitalization of the historic downtown area of Peoria. The students are Anna Loseke, Melissa Oyster, and Charmaine Turner. I could summarize their project this way. One problem, six principles, six cities, and four sets of recommendations. What is the problem? The problem is that the historic downtown of Peoria has fallen in disrepair, and there is limited participation of businesses and residents in economic and recreational activities. The principles, the six principles that guided the project emerged from conversations with city of Peoria staff and residents, and also from attending community meetings. With these principles in mind, the students identified six peer cities that have faced similar challenges and are implementing solutions that hopefully may be relevant to Peoria. Based on their analysis, the students identified key lessons learned and made several recommendations. They organized these recommendations in four areas, adaptive reuse and placemaking, public participation, activities and events, and branding strategies. I want to thank Project Cities and the City of Peoria for the opportunity to collaborate in this project. And I want to commend Anna, Melissa, and Charmaine for their good work this semester. The floor is yours now. Currently in Old Town Peoria, there are limited opportunities for residents and businesses to partake in economic and community building activities. As a result, our Capstone team has researched historic downtown redevelopment projects in other cities and crafted recommendations for adaptive reuse and placemaking, public participation, activities and events, and branding techniques. Through an interview with the City of Peoria Planning and Development Department, our group identified six principles that would guide our research and ultimately our recommendations. Six principles are focus on small local businesses, use of mixed use buildings, activity throughout the day and into the evening, flexible use of space within the buildings, aesthetics that celebrate history, and the use of art to create opportunities for placemaking. For our case study, we identified six cities that each underwent a unique redevelopment process for their historic buildings. We thought each of these cities taught a lesson that could easily apply to the city of Peoria because of similar buildings, history, and size. The cities are Albuquerque, New Mexico, Mesa, Arizona, Tempe, Arizona, Tucson, Arizona, Wilmar, Minnesota, and Eber City, Florida. Conducting our research, we focused on the following topics, participants and processes, branding, adaptive reuse, and placemaking. For processes and participants, Eber City engaged your community in an innovative way through commun community workshops and digital communications. They designed a webpage to provide project updates as well as surveys to gauge each participant's area of interest as it pertained to their development plans. The city of Tempe was an unfortunately an example of what not to do. They held over 30 meetings over a two-year period, and they were ultimately unable to pass their urban master plan due to unclear messaging and complicated guidelines for developers. For branding, Eber City launched a new campaign to celebrate its strong history, diversity, and economic impact called Heart of Tampa. As part of this campaign, the Eber City Community Advisory Committee hosted the inaugural Heart of Tampa Community Art Contest, Heart of Ebor inviting local artists to demonstrate through various artistic mediums what the National Landmark District means to them. The Faces of Ebor video series showcases testimonials from Ebor City stakeholders sharing the unique and inspiring stories of success from real people who live and work in Ebor City. Ebor City also offers a variety of tours centered around the historic Landmark District, and finally, Eber City ambassadors are knowledgeable, friendly guides that work in Eber City's historic district and provide general information to visitors about amenities, activities, events, shops, restaurants, and parking options. 
Tucson, Arizona and Albuquerque, New Mexico are great examples of adaptive reuse. Both historic buildings still have a large percentage of their original structure after renovations. In Tucson on the first floor of the historic Chicago music store, no one currently occupies this floor, so it has been used as a pop-up retail place for events. However, on the second floor, it was bought by a private owner and turned into a co-working wellness place where individuals can rent the area to work, but also to work out. This business is attracting other startup businesses and other companies looking for something different from traditional offices. In Al Albuquerque, New Mexico, the historic school was turned into a living area where one could work, live, and socialize. So overall, both cities are creating ways for their downtown areas to stay active in the morning, afternoon, and evening. We see excellent examples of placemaking strategies in both Mesa, Arizona, and Wilmer, Minnesota. In Mesa, city officials worked with local artists to create Instagrammable murals, like the one behind this slide, as well as statues that call back the history of the city. Um, in Mesa, there's also some great examples of creative seating and gathering places for people to hang out outside. In Wilmer, Minnesota, they used a technique called Lots of Little, which sprinkles smaller engagements, um, smaller artistic engagements throughout the year that call back to their signature events. So it engages community members throughout the, the year. Um, in both cities, they worked closely with local artists and helped support the local art industry. And they also used art as beautification. Now that we've heard about several case studies, it's time for our recommendations for Peoria. There are four key areas that we think Peoria needs to consider as they look to revitalize their downtown area. Peoria should consider adaptive reuse of historic buildings, uh, encourage public participation and be conscientious of how they gather public input, they should focus on events and activities that bring the community together and also be aware of branding efforts. This first recommendation for adaptive reuse is a jailhouse. So since the jailhouse is located right next to a park where lots of space, it was recommended that Old Town Peoria could use a jailhouse as a pop-up restaurant where individuals can grab food and go back to the event taking place. The Central School is made up of four buildings in Old Town Peoria. The first is the largest and was the main schoolhouse, um, which we recommend be transitioned into a bookstore and cafe on one side, and in the other half be a studio space for local artists to work. The other three outbuildings should be converted into co-working space and a bar, and there should be plenty of outdoor seating for everyone to enjoy and congregate in the lawn around the school. From the successes of Ebor City, the city of Peoria should invest in a digital outreach campaign to engage residents. A dedicated project webpage with a project schedule and ways to submit input could really help to streamline the public participation process. Visioning workshops are a great way to bring people together and show them what a project outcome may look like. Finally, targeted surveys are a great way to gauge public opinion and interest. Events and activities are one of the quickest ways to bring foot traffic and awareness to an area. Therefore, we recommend that Peoria restore the annual celebration of Pioneers Days that recognizes the agricultural heritage of the area. We also encourage Old Town Peoria to adopt the Lots of Little framework for interactive art displays and exhibits throughout the year. Furthermore, we suggest that a bi-weekly farmer's market occur outside Central School to bring traffic and local businesses and artists. The vacant lots are excellent spaces for pop-up activities like food truck festivals or outdoor family movie nights. We also recommend that Peoria install public games and outdoor spaces near businesses and public buildings to encourage people to spend time there. Peoria's existing Somos Peoria event could serve as a great starting place for some great branding for Peoria's downtown historic district to capture the Latin influence in the city. Some revitalized historic markers and plaques could be placed for residents and visitors to see and learn. 
a lit up archway over the entrance to the historic neighborhood similar to Eber City would be an attractive placemaking feature. Finally, a video series where residents and business owners in the historic neighborhood can share their story could really personify the area and also engage its residents. Old Town Peoria has such a rich history and potential to be a social hub for generations to come. By utilizing strategic branding campaigns, encouraging public participation, adapting historic buildings for modern use, and building engaging events, Old Town Peoria will once again become a thriving center of activity. Thank you for watching our presentation. We will now open the floor for questions or comments.